I'm not a risk taker. I was raised in an average middle class family. With my mom being a teacher and my dad in law enforcement, we led a life of structure and routine. My family describes me as having tunnel vision, which I've learned is a double-edged sword. My life's to-do list was set. Graduate college, start teaching, get my master's, live alone, and then get married. Everything went as planned until June 2009 when a friend offered to sell me her mother's house. I declined since I didn't have my master's and was not about to veer from my list. My parents persisted and encouraged me to see the whole picture. After sleepless nights and meltdowns due to fear of the unknown, I trusted my parents' knowledge and wisdom and I bought the house. I did my best to educate myself in reality with hopes that I could gain control of the situation I felt so unsure of. This was the biggest leap of faith I had ever taken. Escrow closed, the house was mine. Little did I know the real life lesson was about to start. I now had a three bedroom, two bath house previously owned by a woman in her 70s, and it looked like it. I was overwhelmed with the amount of work that needed to be done to make this house my home. Again, I turned to my parents for direction. It took everyone I knew two months of stripping wallpaper, tearing down wood paneling, painting walls, buying everything one could imagine, and designing each room before it was ready. I began realizing that although this was my house, I was not alone. Each member of my family played a different role and spent hours helping me design a house that I could call mine. Most days, I would come work on the house after teaching and my dad would already be there, working on a sprinkler, replacing a socket, cutting baseboard, and many other things that needed to be done. My mom took the role of designing. We spent hours at stores buying and returning, trying to make each room have that unique Brittany touch. My boyfriend, brothers, and friends spent their weekends helping with installations, painting, and moving furniture. There were many long days and nights, and hours of work that were done in those eight weeks. Finally, I moved in. This is what it all led to. The day I learned that some risks are worth taking, especially if you have the unconditional support and help from your family and friends.